Hey guys, I'm just making a quick video. I'm outside at night in the dark. Hey look, you can see that star up there. It's twinkling. Let's see here if we can get another one. Oh, that's the house. Uh, anyway, so as you can tell, I've got me a set of aftermarket mirrors here. You've got your uh, turn signal and running light. I've had them for almost a year and I haven't had them hooked up yet. Well, it got cold, temperature dropped pretty quick. But, um, I don't need the headlights. I was able to hook up one side today. I say that looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks really nice. Um, I don't have the other side hooked up yet. As you can see, that side is as dark as can be, just like outside here. But um, I'm gonna hook the other side up tomorrow, uh, if the weather allows me to. But as you can see, I also have the turn signal hooked up. It was super easy. Um, that's what all this scrap wire is here. Whenever I replace a wiring harness, I never throw the wiring harness away. Um, mainly because the, the wire, a lot of those wires are still good. And yeah, these are switchbacks. That's a switchback down there. I forgot to mention that, but that's what it looks like when it's just the running light. And then when the turn signal's activated, then it does that. But yeah, that looks pretty good in my opinion. Turned out a lot better than I expected. But uh, just wanted to make this quick video showing the um, turn signal. There we go. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I will upload another video tomorrow. Um, showing the um, uh, the entire uh, system working so both both running lights on both mirrors and of course the turn signals on both mirrors in action uh, I'm very excited uh, I will probably end up rewiring it later uh, what I ended up doing is I took um, the wires and ran them through the fender but I watched another guy's video there's actually some wires underneath the dash here which all you do is you run it uh, from the wiring harness through the grommet into the cab and then the uh, left and right turn signal is right underneath the dash and then for the running lights instead of running it all the way down to the, um, the headlight down there you just go in through this little switch right here for the uh, headlights. There's a brown wire. That's all you have to do. So I'm probably going to rewire it later. I'm not going to do that now. I'm just going to do the other side the same way. Um, you just run your two wires to the headlight wires. Uh, they both go to your turn signal. Uh, bulb, or not bulb, but a uh, harness, or pigtail as, I, as you could say. Um, sorry, it's a little cold out here, so, uh, I'm shivering a little bit. I'm not wearing shoes and I'm standing in wet mud. But anyway, yeah, like I said, you just get the pigtail for the turn signal. One's going to be for your running light. The other one's going to be for the turn signal. And then I know a lot of people use self tappers in the doors. Uh, they'll screw a hole in the door. I actually didn't do that. What I ended up doing, there's, um, a bolt uh, that holds the frame for the uh, window. I, I don't know if it would be called a regulator because um, there's not a motor in this one as you can see it's uh, manual but there's a bolt that holds it inside the door and all I did was stick the ground wire behind that. Uh, I, I know what I'll do when I have that door over there torn apart tomorrow what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, 
show what I'm talking about. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Later.